Hello, today the line where medicine and sport collide. Uh, this is probably one of the best book I ever read related to cycling, although it's very hard to classify. It's not a training book or a biography, uh, although elements related to Dr. Freeman biography, elements related to uh, science, to to coaching, to to training, to supplementation are in there. But usually they are um, they are described as part of some case study related to some specific rider, for example, Bradley Wiggins, uh, who is, um, I think, most often mentioned uh, rider in this book. Uh, of course, um, Dr. Richard Freeman uh, was the kind of link between between medical staff and Dave Braceford, the head of the British Cycling and also Team Sky. Um, so his role was to um, to to keep uh, keep the um, riders uh, safe from the injuries, from any diseases, uh, from any infections, and at the same time allow them to compete on a, on a, on the highest level. Uh, so I would say very difficult task and uh, it required some specific approach. Um, yeah, for who uh, is this book? I mean, it, it might be interesting for, from, for anyone who is trying to be better at cycling, who would like to perform uh, at some uh, higher level, but uh, at the same time want to avoid some uh, injuries or uh, problems with uh, that you know are very common to professional riders uh, for example respiratory issues inflammation and uh, everything connected to um, to be to be healthy while uh, being a subject of very hard training uh, because you know if you train very hard you are uh, doing uh, you are burning a lot of calories uh, your immune system might not be as good as for ordinary guy um, you are doing from time to time caloric restrictions to 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 to, to get down on weight yeah so uh, that those things are are beneficial but uh, but also dangerous for you so um I think by reading this book, you might find some answers how to balance properly um, on the line between being uh, not able to perform good or perform very good. Um, yeah, and speaking about the line, I think uh, the author, Richard Freeman, um, was more interested uh, in ethical line. Uh, I mean, ethical line uh, for in his role means that uh, professional riders were patients as a first for him and riders as a second. So first of all, uh, because it, it it might not concern all the people uh, that are you know um, that uh, that are doing. Um, uh, medical care about riders or other other you know professional uh, sport people like uh, football players uh, you know at some point you might uh, you might put the performance over the health yeah so this is kind of a difficult thing to to um, to achieve when it comes to cooperating with people like it, you know he was Dr Richard Freeman was doing some spot decisions so. For example, um, his decision was to not allow uh, Bradley Wiggins to compete at some at some events. Events uh, he had to uh, back back off from the uh, from those events, like Tour de France at some point or some uh, I I can't recall exactly was the, the championship. Um, so this is this is the the role that was assigned to Dr. Richard Freeman in Team Sky. Um, he was cooperating with, with very, very uh, famous um, scientists or people from, from 
medical ward. Uh, for example, Dr. Peters, who was the uh, who was the very famous uh, psychiatrist in some uh, hospital. Um, also, Dave Braceforth, that I already mentioned. Um, yeah, so uh, definitely he was an insider of Team Sky. Uh, he knew everything about daily schedule, about the injuries, about the problems that riders are dealing with, like from l lumbar spine problems to uh, to all kinds of other injuries, uh, uh, even enhancing drugs uh, to some extent i mean uh, he is not um he, he was not involved in you know uh, injecting enhancing drugs although there is some you know i would say rumors about this when in relation to team sky especially because the um, bradley wiggins was um catched by using some abundant abandoned substances uh, like triamcilon, uh, but there is a special chapter uh, about this. This is the uh, case study Bradley Wiggins, road and truck cyclist. Uh, yeah, if I open it already, I don't want to spoil too much, but there are very interesting, you know, from the titles you might infer that this book is very interesting. So for example, improving all the time, yeah. Who don't want to improve all the time? Uh, another case study at Clancy, track cyclist. Uh, another day at the office, there are some, you know, uh, there are some um, chapters committed to some ordinary things like day in life, uh, but they are very specific and more scientific ch ch chapters where you might benefit from. Uh, well, not directly, but you have to maybe to look around in other sources and try to make the knowledge about some something uh, mentioned here uh, deeper. Uh, okay, so this is basically it. Uh, I think um, this book is very easy to read. Uh, it's the, the language is quite um, quite easy to comprehend. Um, actually in comparison to other books that I read about cycling. So, uh, yeah, I think no, uh, you won't be disappointed by reading this book. If you are, if you love cycling, if you are interested in improving yourself, in, if you are interested in getting to know how professional riders are, um, are, uh, you know, uh, developing themselves, yeah, about the, their obsessive nature, about the uh, willing to sacrifice something, yeah. Uh, so this is the good book for if you if you have that kind of um, interests. Thank you.